Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. That's called the case of the people state of the state of Michigan versus Eric Grimmel. Good morning, Your Honor. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Pate with and on behalf of Mr. Eric Vermeulen. Please state your name for the record, sir. Eric Vermeulen. Your Honor, we have reached agreement in this case. In exchange for a plea of guilty or no contest to count one, assault or assault and battery, victim St. Maynard, uh, counts two and three will be dismissed. I've spoken with victim Brian Maynard, and he has indicated to me he's not interested in restitution for the cameras that were destroyed. They're uh, relatively expensive. All right. That is an accurate understanding of the agreement. Mr. Vermeulen would like to accept that offer today. So he's going to plead no contest to count one? Correct, Your Honor. And then dismiss the remaining count? Yes, Your Honor. May I say something, Your Honor? I want to tell him. May I say something, Your Honor? Can you get a minute? Go ahead, Eric. I don't, want you, I don't want you saying, my understanding, I, just so that it's not that I won't hear from you. I guess your counsel's indicated that you're pleading no contest, likely for the reasons of potential civil liability. Is that correct, counsel? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay, and I, I just don't want you saying anything that's going to mess that part of it up. I, I just wanted to say, you know, I... Ain't nothing happened. I didn't do nothing, but the man, the man has really manipulated me. For well, well, me to have a place. To okay, live. so Eric, let me stop you. If you don't want to plead, you don't have to. I want to plead, but I want you to know that. Yeah. All right, well, I Eric, that I Eric, stop for a minute. Is this really what you want to do? Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay. Now your counsel and you and the prosecutor, everybody's agreed that this will be a no contest plea, which means you're not saying anything about it. Okay. And I'm my only concern is sounds like you have something to say about it, but I it's kind of contradictory for me. If I may, Your Honor. Can, sorry. One thing I want you to honestly do. If you have any way, I think Child Protective Services needs okay. to monitor that place because okay. Brian is a dangerous Eric, person. Eric. He's pulled guns on me several times and shot him at me, Your Honor. I just want to just, okay, maybe I'm saying too much. I don't know. I only need the place Eric, to live, Eric, but I plead Eric, guilty. Eric, I plead Eric, guilty. Eric, That's Eric, what I have to say. Eric, Eric. Listen. If you want to do this. Yes, sir. I appreciate hang on, it. Hang on. Hang on. Eric. If you want to do this, then you can do this. My concern right now is with some of the things you're saying is I'm not sure that's what you really want to hold on. That's not sure that's what you really want to do. Your Honor, I've and I have to make sure that what you're doing is voluntary. I thank the prosecutor for the offer and this is what I want to do. I'm sorry. for sure. This is what you want to do. Yes, there's too much to risk, Your Honor. One thing could go right. bad, so, I you know. Yeah. Let me ask you, have you had enough time to talk to your attorney about this? Yes, we, we have decided do? this is what we'd like to do, Your Honor. Pardon me. If I may, Your Honor. Um, when I was discussing this with Mr. Vermeulen, he did want it to be made very clear to both me and the court that he never um, 
hurt anybody. He never meant or he never injured anybody there. And that is what he was expressing to me. And I believe that may be part of what he is expressing to the court. And he did indicate that there is, as your honor is aware, a long history between the complaining witness in this case and Mr. Vermeulen. And Mr. Vermeulen does state that there has been some prior incidences where he believes he has been a victim himself. And he just wants to express that he was expressing that both to me. And I believe that is what he is expressing to the court. I just don't want you to know that I'm not a bad person, Your Honor. Here. I'm very irritated about what, these terms. What? I lost my Eric, friend, my Eric, own, everything Eric. I own, and my freedom. Eric. You've been coming before me for probably near two decades. For some tickets. And whatever. You did. At I, any I, given point in time, Eric, have I ever thought that you were a bad person? No, you haven't. So, you so why, why would you think that that would change or have any effect on me at this point? Because there's a twelve-year-old that said that I did this. That would that, okay. That's I, wrong. I, I get it, Eric. All right. But Eric, as a human being, and I tell you this, and I told you this before, I don't, I don't think you're a bad person. Even Thank there you, are Anna. people, but listen, there are people that come here, and they're not bad people. They may have done a bad thing. I don't know, right, at one point, but that doesn't make them a bad person. Okay? So if that's your worry, Eric, you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry that somehow or another I'm just going to think you turned into this evil person. I don't. I don't think that. Thank you. That's the only reason I would want to fight this to show you different. But I, I, I appreciate the prosecutor making me this offer so that we can possibly get this over and I can move on. Okay, so Eric, I'll ask you again. You yes, want to want to enter this plea? Yes, sir. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, sir. All right. State your name for the record. Eric Anthony Vermeulen. All right. You can put your hand down. All right. Eric, it's this court's understanding that you're going to plead no contest to the charge of assault and or assault and battery. That's a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail, $500 fine plus court costs. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Do you understand what a no contest plea is? Yes, sir. All right. Two things about it I have to make sure that you understand. The first thing is, is that it means that you're not further desirous or wanting to contest this charge. You understand that? Yes, sir. Second thing you need to understand is that for purposes of sentencing, the court is going to treat you the same as though you had pled guilty. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. So understanding all of that, do you still wish to plead no contest? Yes, sir. And to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty. Guilty or no contest? No contest. All right. Do you understand that by pleading no contest, you will not have a trial of any kind? Yes, sir. All right. You signed an advice of rights form, is that correct? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions regarding any of the rights on that form? No, sir. On the podium, you'll see a copy of one. Look at paragraph five. Those are your rights, which are part of a trial. You understand that by pleading no contest, you're giving up those rights as well as all the rights of that form. Yes, sir. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right. Yes, sir. Are you on probation or parole? No, sir. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated here today on the record to get you to plead? No, sir. Anybody threaten you or coerce you? No, sir. You're doing this voluntarily? Yes, sir. And of your own free will? Sir. The court has been provided Pittsfield Township Department of Public Safety report for their case 2412936. Any objection to the court having reviewed that report? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. 
based upon a review of that court report, the court does find that there's a sufficient factual basis in which the court could determine the defendant's guilt of the offense as contained in count one. Counsel, have I complied with the court will and would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? People are satisfied. Defense is satisfied, Your Honor. Court will accept the defendant's plea to count one. Counts two and three are dismissed. Defendants referred to probation. Pre-sentence investigation and report. Sentencing in this matter will be. October 9th at 9 a.m. October 9, 2024, 9 a.m. Anything further? Nothing from the people. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you. Right. Uh, count two and three dismissed, Your Honor. Yes, they are. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you.